Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Trails into Reverie. In the last episode, everything just hit the fan. Oh my god. Before the signing ceremony, we saw the arrival of a particular someone, and everything just went from bad to worse. But we are going to be continuing right where we left off. We left off right here at Lloyd's Route Act 1, signing ceremony end. So we are going to proceed. Let's see what's in store for us. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's locked. Interesting. So. Oh, interesting. So it's. It is all in the same day. Interesting. Oh, wow. All right. Let's jump into Reen's route and see. Play through Reen's route in blank, blank, blank. Yeah. Let's go. Let's see what our boy Reen is up to while everything's been going down in Crossbill. Oh. What it? Who is this guy? Where even are we? That all? Yeah. No. I can fight. Kurt. I'm ready. Oh. Pathetic. Kurt! Kurt! Watch it be like, uh, earlier today. We're gonna start this like that? We... Oh. This doesn't make any sense. Claire? Is she here? At this rate. Wasn't she in jail? Come on, we'll hide under the bridge. We need to get to Instructor Reen ASAP if we're going to figure out some way to help out Ash and Musei. I agree. And we need to get out of this icy water before it saps any more of our strength. That should be our top priority. Oh. I hope you don't think I can't see you down there. What is even going on? Is anywhere safe from her? Not really. No one escapes the icy maiden when she's this serious, I fear. Oh. And front. I can't believe this is happening. What is going on? Did everybody just escape out of jail? And who's the other guy, too? Just what's going on? Several hours before 10 a.m. Oh, she's with us? Uh, uh, I'm so confused. We're in a mirror, though. Near the hot springs paradise. Claire Revelt. Oh, 
what a gorgeous sight. So, this is where you grew up, Instructor? Yep. What a wonderful place. It's so peaceful and calming. Thank you. I figured the snow would have all melted by this time of year. Most of it has. This is just what's left over. You would have really seen some snow if we were here a month ago. Oh, how lovely. It's nice to be honeymooning in a winter wonderland. And Musée never changes. I owe this town much after all they did for me two years ago. <sighs> I think we owe you more than you owe us. Hmm? Oh, yeah. You used Ymir as your base during the Civil War, right? Yeah. She did a ton of work to improve our defenses and our communications network. Oh? I suppose it's been two years for me as well. The last visit I recall was when I was tasked with abducting Princess Alfin and Instructor Reen's little sister. Well, that's true, that did happen. <laughs> it's, um, also been a while for you, Reen, hasn't it? Why don't we start by letting your parents know that we're here? That sounds good to me. I want to introduce all my students to them. Hey. It's going to feel a little strange meeting our instructor's parents. Y yeah. I'm feeling kind of nervous all of a sudden. That's right. They never did meet him. I, for one, can hardly wait to say hello to my future in-laws. Calm it down. Laura's going to have a talk with you. <laughs> I've got a whole lot of stories to tell them about their little baby boy. Ash, please. <sighs> please don't embarrass me in front of my family. <clears throat> Maltina. Rain's Route, Act 1, as the snow thaws. Oh my god. Welcome to the home of Baron Schwarzer. We have been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Whoa, a real maid? You can tell she's been well trained. I didn't expect to, f to find you helping out, Maple. I forgot what kind of voice I give Rain. You've gotten way better at welcoming guests. <laughs> the Phoenix Wings has trained me well, young Rain. You're seeming a lot more grown up yourself, just not as much as me. And suddenly all pretenses of professionalism slip away. Now, please come this way. Baron and Lady Schwarzer await you in the study. Who's she? An old friend of mine who works at the Phoenix Wings. She's got a year on me and it's determined never to let me forget it. You seem rather close, but... Looks to me like all friends, no benefits. I, I, I Shorts would have every chicken town fawning over him. I wouldn't put it past him either, to be honest. Is this really what you think of me? <laughs> Clearly, nobody here would dare to get in Elise's way. Oh, my lord. Here we go again. I'm starting to feel a little sorry for him. <laughs> that makes two of us. Something wrong, young Reen? Uh, sorry, we're coming now. Oh, I can't wait to see everybody again. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Look at him. Theo and Lucia Schwarzer. It's good to see you again, my son. Why does this voice sound so familiar? It's been a long half year without you. I'm sorry I haven't been able to visit as often as I'd like. Especially since it sounds like Elise has been too busy to come home as well. Oh? She's asked me to give you both her regards. Well, I'm sure St. Astraea's student council is keeping her plenty busy. This is Jiraiya as well. David. I just hope she doesn't work herself sick. I believe so. Sounds like him. I'm sure she's just fine. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But that does sound like him. The younger students all seem to adore her. And she has her highness there if she's ever in need of a friend to talk to. I've also been keeping an eye out to make sure no insects start buzzing around her. Oh my god, Rain. 
And I believe Reen again is Sean Chiplock. <laughs> Are you now? That overprotectiveness may create more trouble than it prevents. Poor Elise. It's a pleasure to see you both again, Lord and Lady Schwarzer. The same to you, Major Revelt. Hmm, it's not hard to imagine that the RMP must be exceptionally busy at the moment. I hope your time here will help ease some of your weariness. Thank you, Your Lordship. Oh, and these must be your students. That's right. Let's present them. Kurt Vander. My name is Kurt Vander. I have learned much under Instructor Reen's exemplary tutelage. No? You would be one of the rare practitioners of the Vander School's dual blade style. I've heard that despite how capable you are, you're not one to rest on your laurels. Humble, too. Mm -hmm. Unusual and admirable qualities in someone of your age. I am honored you would speak of me that way, but I'm afraid you overestimate me. Oh, I don't think so. Ash. Name's Ash Carbide. If you've heard it, chances are it's because your son was complaining about what a pain in the ass I am. <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary. I've heard there's much more to you than that prickly exterior of yours. Reen's told me that deep down, you're a very smart, considerate young man who your fellow students depend on. The hell? <laughs> you want to watch what bullcrap you're feeding your folks about me, Schwarzer? I mean, it's the truth. Sorry, you're just stuck being a big old softy. <laughs> the denial is what makes him oh so lovable. Nise, please don't say anything embarrassing. Oh god, it's her next. Oh god. I am Musa Egret. It's a pleasure. Please don't say anything embarrassing. I owe much to both of your children. Ah, I've heard much about you. It can't be easy to shoulder so much responsibility at such a young age. Not at all. Instructor Reen's love and support give me the strength necessary to overcome any obstacle. Oh my. Love, you say? Oh god. <sighs> Can't you spare me your harassment in front of them? <laughs> I see that Elise wasn't exaggerating. You are quite the character. <laughs> yes, she is. You have no idea. I'm glad that she and Reen have someone like you to come to when they need it. Think nothing of it. That's what family does. Muse, please. Doesn't miss a beat, does she? No, she does not. She certainly does not. My name is Una Crawford. It's a pleasure to meet you. I found myself in Instructor Reen's debt before even enrolling at the Academy, and I've constantly been in it since. But I've been trying to learn as much as I can from him so that one day, I can be a source of strength to others just like him. Yes. Oh, you're the young lady from Crossbell. What a commendable spirit you have. I agree. You seem every bit the earnest, cheerful young woman Reen told us you were. Uh, what else did he say about me? No. You know. He told us, you never give up even when all seems lost, and act like a shining beacon of light to those around you. It seems he really depends on you. That's really flattering to hear. Is the truth? But also really embarrassing to hear in front of my classmates. <laughs> You're not the only one going red. How are you not completely desensitized to the things you say by now? I feel a little jealous, truth be told. <laughs> anyway, I've had my turn now. Last up is you. Altina. Best daughter. Altina Orion. <sighs> uh, you okay, Ali? I'm the one who abducted Elise and the princess during the Northern Jaeger's attack on Ymir two years ago. Oh. Altina. Oh, she still shoulders that responsibility. I know I have no right to even be here after the harm my actions caused you. But since I have this opportunity... I am so terribly sorry for what I did. That must really have been eating away at her. Yeah. Please, raise your head. You were but a child following orders, and you did nothing to harm either of them. Mm -hmm. You need not feel any guilt for your actions. 
She's come a long way. Still. There is something I would like to say to you as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Altina. Or what? I hear you were always at Reen's side during the year he was fulfilling the government's demands after the Civil War. I'm truly grateful he had you to support him. Uh, I was just following orders then, too. <laughs> Even so. Besides, you're not here today because you were ordered to be, are you? No, she's not. I... That's true. I'm part of Class 7 because I chose to be and want to be. Oh, <laughs> the character development! Aww. Our class wouldn't be the same without you. Then you have no reason not to feel completely welcome here. You're a lucky man to have so many wonderful students, Reen. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. Well, I think that's enough talking for now. What do you... What say you all to some lunch? You've had a long journey. You must all be starving. Now that you mention it. That's true. We did set off rather early. Thank you for your kindness. I can't wait to sample the culinary new delights of our instructor's home. I'll have everything ready as soon as I can. I gathered some excellent fed meat during my morning hunt. You're going to love it. You went out hunting first thing in the morning? So must be fired up. Your parents are such wonderful people. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh, this is so lovely. Ooh, having a little bit of tea after the meal. Ah, that was delicious. I knew the meat would be fresh, but your garden-raised vegetables were delicious as well, Lady Schwarzer. That meal was perfect balance of rustic and flavorful. And they weren't being stingy about the portions either. I've never tasted a wild strawberry tart as fine as that. The tea afterwards was first rate too. I actually think I might have eaten a bit too much. I'm just happy we could satisfy you all. Either way, we'll get out of your way now. But if there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to call on us. Thank you. And off they go. So, Major, now that I got a chance to ask, there's one thing I've been wondering. Why exactly did you call us here? All well, Principal Aurelia told us is that we're here for a special assignment. Whatever it is, it clearly concerns the RMP, too. I understand your curiosity naturally. There's a good reason why you are the only class here. However, I'm afraid it is not my place to elaborate. So, someone else be telling us? Regardless, it will be a while longer before everything is ready. You haven't been home for six months, Reen. So, why don't you take the chance and walk around a mirror while you wait? I imagine the rest of you would enjoy the opportunity to take in the sights, too. Huh? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. At least Samir is not going to be as big as Crossbell. So we could probably have this all in one shot? Most of you have never been here before, so how about I show you all around? I must admit that is rather tempting. But instructor, it's rare. You're afforded the chance to come back here. There must be things you want to do without us. Yeah, we can turn ourselves around, no problem. It's not like we're babies, you know. We'll be all right on our own. Well, if you insist. I appreciate the sentiment, sentiment but kind of stinks to be shot down like that. I guess I'll do. What are they saying? Go see how everyone in Ymir is doing. Carrying over bonds. Oh, okay. If he chose to carry over clear data from Trails of Cold Steel 4, the bonds Reen has formed will be carried over as well. Sweet! If Reen formed a special bond with a female character, that symbol would be marked with a 
That character will be marked with a with a heart symbol and join the party with a higher link level than normal. Oh. You can also take this chance to change which character you want Reen to have formed a special bond with without replaying Cold Steel's 4. Oh. Okay. Choose which character Reen formed a special bond with. The character you choose here will receive bonus link EXP. And if you chose the character marked with a heart symbol, that bonus will be further increased. <laughs> I mean... Ah, okay. So I could choose either between Yuna, Altina, Muse, Alyssa, which is what everybody wants. Because, well, the game wants. We got Laura, Emma, Fee, Sarah, Toa, Elise, Alfin, and no one. But we are going to stick with our choice. Years ago, I did choose Laura, but we're going to keep Laura. All the characters who reach maximum bond level with Reen. In the clear data you carried over, over will be marked with a star symbol and will start with a higher link level. Interesting. All the characters that you select here will receive bonus link experience, but only those marked with a star symbol will receive a full additional link level. Choose which characters Reem formed a bond with. The characters you choose here will receive bonus link experience. As long as you do not uncheck any characters marked with a star symbol, they will also receive this experience. So everybody. Oh, okay. This is like the final, final bond. I'm marking everybody. Everybody's getting that. Look at that. So this was like the bonds. Okay. So Ash, Elliot, Gaius, and Crow did not, but... We're going to give them that EXP too, because he did form bonds with them. All of them. Reen special someone gained link experience. The characters Reen formed a bond with gained link experience. If you choose to carry over clear data from Cold Seal 4, the characters mark of a heart and star symbols will gain additional link experience. You gain additional link experience for carrying over Trails of Cold Seal 4 clear data. It's going to be back home. It's a shame we won't be able to walk around here, just the two of us. Oh, Laura. I have a feeling Laura would love this place. And think of the training opportunities. Someday. Aww. Anyway, I should get going. Might be worth checking in on the others if I run into them too. To receive bonus, li bonus for linking your Trails of Cold Shield 3 and 4 save data. You received a bonus for finishing Cold Seal 4. Yes. Here we go. A lot of character notes. Now let's see our orbments. We got Brigid and Skull. All right. What's Brigid? Killing enemies restore CP. Okay, so that is perfect for Rain. It is great in strength. Okay. We got Skull. High HP increases. Break damage increases up to 40%. So that is good strength, good defense, good EP, and good HP. Not bad. Virgo, offensive arts deal critical damage. 45%. We got great EP and a decent ATS, which is not bad. We got serious, stronger counterattacks after evading. Damage increased by 125%. Okay, so this is what... I had with Fee. So probably have Kurt be that guy this time around. We got Diva evades magic attacks, 26% chance. Increases damage to enemies in a break state. Damage increased by 65%. So we got Scorpio. So everybody does have things that they're pretty decent at. Okay, so green He's quite well balanced. I do like this. As uh gold with that. And then you have you have gold as secondary. I feel like 
Shouldn't we have mm, high HP increases mark rate damage? Uh, I guess could be good. Ah, uh, yeah. No, yeah, 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 definitely, definitely, definitely. If he's gonna be our dodger, um, do we have evade? Okay, we do have evade on him. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, so the speed. All right, with rain, it's good because rain is pretty good at cleaving. And strength ATS, 75, speed. Okay. So that was great for Muse. I don't know. It's like HP 3000. Muse is going to be our caster. Hmm. Right now we don't have anything, but let's get some of the DLC. What? I didn't open that when I had Rixia. So I don't have... So is there... Oh, yeah, this attire. This did go hard. I'm not going to lie. Yuna's travel wear. Oh, we're getting everything. Okay, Yuna's branch uniform. What's the difference then? We did get like their travel wear back. Okay, Athena's branch uniform. And the wetsuit. Okay. We got her travel wear and her branch uniform. I don't know what's different then. Is there anything different? Cause that's... Hmm. I don't see anything different. All right. I think everything's pretty decent. All right, let's go explore. All right. Let's see how everybody is doing. Got Lady Schwarzer. Okay, that's, I imagine, to rest. Okay, I love seeing everything again. It's just amazing. This is, yep, this is Theo. go outside and see how everything looks oh nothing says i'm home quite like the clean taste of ymir's air mm -hmm. it's so beautiful it's gotten even more beautiful like the design oh i can't believe it it's amazing we got here and there's the foot bath Sounds like just the thing after having such a hearty meal. Altina and Muse. Interesting. Hey, girls. Enjoying the foot bath, you two? We certainly are. It must be wonderful having a place like this in the middle of your village. It's one of Amir's biggest selling points, to be sure. If you don't mind, I think I might join you. For a second, I thought the game crashed. I'm like, ah, oh, please no. Ah, <sighs> this really warms you up. It truly does. I can feel my fatigue just fading away too. It's strange how effective it is, given how little of your body is actually inside of it. So what were you two? Oh, so what were the two of you talking about before I came over? You actually. Me. Specifically, we were talking about that power of yours. The curse's influence completely disappeared as a result of the final rivalry. 
but your specific power still remains, correct? Yeah. The seed that originally gave it to me is gone. But the power itself has developed to the point where it's essentially its own thing now. Oh, but there's no need to worry. I've got it largely under control now. Largely implies that there's still the possibility you may lose control of it. I can't deny that, but I'm devoting myself to making sure it doesn't happen. It isn't that we don't trust you. We simply don't trust your unfortunate habit of choosing to sacrifice yourself at the drop of a hat. I heard that the first time you lost control of your powers was here in Emir. Because you were trying to protect Elise from a ferocious monster on the path behind the village. I cannot speak, jeez. You found out about that, huh? Still, I'm afraid that's just who I am. I can't promise I won't endanger myself for those I care about again, and Elise isn't the only one that's true for. Your perspective is logical in theory, but those who make such sacrifices don't understand just how painful they can be for those they mean to protect. Especially when they leave you completely alone. Oh, when Mel, um... Ugh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. Besides, she came back in the end, so I have complete... I have plenty of time to punish her for what she did. <laughs> I'm sure you mean thank her for what she did. Incorrect. <laughs> anyway, I want you to keep watching over me, Instructor. There's still so much I have to learn from you. So I won't let you just disappear. I won't let you leave me. I won't. Ugh. I won't leave you. Don't worry. On a not entirely dissimil dissimilar note, when we'll be going on a date, you promise me, Instructor. Wait, what date? This is the first I am hearing of this. Because I never promised anything like that. I can't believe you would simply forget. You agreed to it before our exams last month. Oh god, what did she do? Muse, what trap did you set up for us? Oh god. It's almost time for the end of term exams. It's been a wild year, but... I want each of you to prepare properly so you can show off the results of your hard work. You in particular, Muse. There's no need to hide your talents anymore. I want you to give this everything you've got. Instructor, that's a tough ask. But if you promise to give me a reward, I might be able to make that happen. You really are a handful, but let's see. If you manage to take the number one spot on the Combine rankings with the meal campus. I'll happily treat you to a meal. That's not a date. Oh my god. Muse. <sighs> sure enough, she placed at the top of the rankings without breaking a sweat. Ada must have been furious at placing second. <laughs> what can I say? Love triumphs overall. So. I did what I promised I would. Instructor, don't you think I deserve a word of praise for my accomplishments? Uh. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Your motives are worth a raised eyebrow, but you did really well. Mm -hmm. So, well done, Muse. I'm proud of you. Good job. <laughs> you have no idea how it makes me feel to hear you say that. Yeah, I suppose a promise is a promise. When we're done in a mirror, it'll make time for us to go for our usual meal. Is that acceptable? <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I can hardly wait to spend a whole day with you and get dinner at the end. You're pretending to mishear me on purpose, aren't you? Those exams were a, a small price to pay to go on a date with the man of my dreams. I can place any position you desire, from the top again all the way down to the bottom. You can deliver a rank bottom? Well, 
Luck will factor into that one, so I would have to say bottom three to be certain. It's like competing against someone playing by entirely different rules. Coming in here has gotten rid of my f physical fatigue, but my mental fatigue has really jumped up to take its place. I think I'm going to get out. What about you two? We'll stay in here a little longer. We still have the issue of your obsession with your sister to discuss. Now I'm really leaving. <laughs> My god. These two. What can I say? Oh, I can enter the foot bath. Okay, let's see. We got a couple people here. Oh, we got Kurt over here. Kurt, my boy! Scenery here is truly spectacular. It sure is. I lived here most of my life, and I'm still not tired of it. It's just a shame it doesn't last all year. Once the snow's gone, that's it. Still, I'm sure it's just replaced by the equally unique, beautiful beauty of another season. You're not wrong there. You're more than welcome to visit again in another season if you want to see. I'd like that very much. Did you once practice your swordsmanship here? It's sort of. It was further up the mountain to be specific. Master Kafai and I spent about a month living out in the wilderness while he trained me intensively. Interesting. I've heard the Arsaid school does a similar thing. Perhaps it's an Easter manner of trading that the Arsaids later adopted. Hmm. It's true that the Eastern martial arts emphasize becoming one with nature. But I think in my case, it was just because Master Kafai believed it to be effective. Securing food to eat and a place to sleep every day was hard enough, but sometimes it would even set monsters on me. Thinking back, you have to do some crazy stuff to make it through in one piece. <laughs> You're a glutton for punishment. I should have think of what you must have gone through. Ouch. Is that how you see me? <laughs> Forgive me. I didn't mean for it to come across quite so rudely. Still, perhaps I should train myself in the mountains myself. I training myself in the mountains myself, sorry. I apologize if I'm assuming wrongly here, but... Are you feeling frustrated with your progress? Uh, oh, no, I'm, I'm not. <sighs> no, I suppose you're right. I'm happy to lend an ear if there's something you want to talk about. Uh, then? This isn't a new concern of mine, but... It's something I was reminded of when we were introducing ourselves to your parents. You know, Tina have grown significantly since we since I first met them. And not just them. The rest could be said for Ash, Muse, and all the rest of the students at the academy. They've all matured significantly in the year since we all enrolled. But then there's me. I don't feel like I've grown all that much at all. Excuse me? You've all grown significantly. What? I continue to train every day, and I do feel as though I'm improving. I'm just a little frustrated by the pace. <laughs> I think you only feel that way because you're more capable than most. What do you mean? In other words, you expect more of yourself than most people do. When you put your bar for success so high, it's only natural it's going to be harder to surpass it. That's just reality. But that makes it sound as if I got barely any room for improvement. That's definitely not the case. It's going to be more difficult for you to make significant progress than before, but you've been overcoming that for a while. Last year you faced off against Prince Cedric and overcame many trials before that. But you were content to rest on your laurels. In the six months since, you've never stopped working to better yourself. I think you're the only one who can't see how much progress you've made. Uh as your instructor, I know better than anyone just how much you've improved. So, 
Have confidence in yourself, Kurt. Thank you, instructor. Of course, don't take that as me telling you to be content with how you are and stop trying. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I have no intention of slowing my pace. At least, not until I've surpassed you. Wow. Sounds like you have a good reason to keep on... Keep bettering yourself, then. I keep... I have a good reason to keep bettering myself, then. Sorry! Well, I'm gonna get going, but... We're the Phoenix Wings to ourselves today. I recommend you take a chance to relax in the hot springs while you have it. That sounds wonderful. I'll stay a moment here to collect my thoughts and then head over. <sighs> That's amazing. Who else do we have? We have somebody in the tavern. Um, someone in the souvenirs. Someone over here. Let me check everybody outside. Oh, Ash! Hey, what's up? Wanna shred some uh, mountain snow? What are you up to over here, Ash? Nothing much. Just wandering around. Man, there sure is a lot of snow left down this way. Well, we don't generally use this path. So there's no point in removing any of the snow that builds up here. It just stays until it melts. At least that makes sense if we got the cable car anyway. Something on your mind? Kinda. Well, that guy heard someone talking about a sport you can basically only do on Snowy Mountain. Just can't remember the name, though. Snowboarding? That's the one! I heard something about using a special board to ride all the way down to the bottom of the mountain. Where there's gotta be enough snow here to do it, right? Oh, I'm thrilled that you're so interested in snowboarding. That would be a really bad idea. Why? You're gonna tell me, oh, Ash, most of the snow's already melted, so you're gonna die a horrible death or something? Well, screw that. I was in no fun without a bit of risk. <sighs> to be fair, you did hit most of it. Most of what I was going to say, but yeah, there's no chance I'll let you snowboard in this. Ah, lame. If you want to give snowboarding a try, though, you're more than welcome to come back in the, here in the winter. I'll even teach you myself. Heh. <laughs> I'll surpass you in no time flat. I'd like to see you try. I'll have you know, I'm the top of the snow... of the leaderboards for every course here. Man. When you get hooked on something, you really do get hooked, huh? Don't forget, I'm from Raquel. I grew up gambling to put food on the table. They're in a game I can't win. Not to embarrass you. I'm not afraid to embarrass you on your own turf. That sounds like a challenge to me. Can't wait to see who comes out on top. Just remember that you're not allowed to bet anything on the outcome unless we do it after you graduate. Ha! Ah, in your damn rules. That was so nice. Okay, so we do have... This. We got the Valley's Echo. We got... The chapel over there. We got... Where is... There's a private home. It's over there. Let me go to the... Store. Yeah, Plover. Sounds almost like pull over. Right. Oh, we got a lot of people here. Oh my god. God, let's start with Yuna. Might as well. I'm gonna grab a souvenir. Yeah, for my family. Oh, and for Jessica and Louise as well. This place sells all sorts of rare stuff. Kind of reminds me of Nyosuian Imports. They both carry Eastern goods. It's true. Since a lot of their stuff comes from the Republic. They were out of stock last year. Now, things are finally back to normal. Thank goodness trade has recovered. Agreed. What is it, Instructor? 
Nothing. I just thought you'd be on edge today. You're surprisingly calm. I mean, today's... Signing ceremony in Crossbell. Yeah. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't thinking about it. There's part of me that wants to be home for such a monumental location. But I'd feel kind of left out if I was the only one who didn't get to come to Emir. Belong with Class 7. Yuna. By the way, I heard something from Randy. He told me you played a big part of the Operation Liberate Crossbow last month. Oh, um, <laughs> it wasn't that big a deal. I just helped Lloyd and the others a teeny bit. Hey, are you really okay with staying at the branch campus? It's the end of the school year, so you should have been able to transfer back to Crossbell like Randy. Heck, I bet they'll love to have you at the police academy again. So you want me gone then? Uh, no, that's not what... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. It's true that I regret not being able to properly graduate from the police academy. But right now, my time at the branch campus is even more important. I said it earlier. It's where I belong. I see. And you know, I like being with you, Instructor. Uh, uh I didn't mean that in a weird way. I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> I know. There's still a lot I want to teach you, too. Good, because I'm all ears. Anyway, everything I learn at Thor's is sure to be useful in the future. Whether it is for myself or to help strengthen the relationship between Crossbell and the Empire. I'm going to be counting on you to teach me the good stuff, Instructor. You have yourself a deal. Better get that brain of yours ready. Oh, we got a character note for Yuna. Well, if it isn't Reen, welcome back. Long time no see, Camilla. You look well. What's that? I look young. And my complexion is perfect. Oh, you sweet talker. <laughs> you really haven't changed. Ah, oh, come now. That's not true. I've been in the rare item business lately. Oh? Speaking of which, have you heard about this? It's Lake Lord's newest fishing gear. I heard it way too many sets. And then on top of that, they sent me new rods and parts as a bonus. Care to take them off my hands? Um, are you sure? Of course. I'm sure this stuff would be much better used in the hands of a knowledgeable fisherman like you. Ooh. Okay, we got five fishing bait, titanium hook, and a custom rod. Whoa, there's a lot. Thank you so much. No need for things. I just like seeing you happy. I'll be running the shop as usual, so feel free to drop in wherever. Will do. Fishing, huh? Starting to warm up a little, so it's the perfect time to cast a line in the mount in a mountain stream. I should give it a whirl once I have some free time. Yes, you should. By the way, Reen, do you have a moment? I wanted a shot, but okay, sure. What is it, Camilla? The girl looking around at our stock over there is pretty cute. Isn't she a girlfriend? She's one of my students, actually. From your school? Hmm, you certainly seem quite close. I figure you brought your girlfriend home with you. Well, we've been through hell and back together, so... wonder who you'll bring home next. Someone from your class, or perhaps Princess Alphen? Camilla. Oh my god. Oh, I can sell the fish here. What do you have? Oh. Let's get that. Let's get this. Let's get this as well. Let's get a few battle no battle scopes. Probably twenty. Mm, let's get ten. I'm so like worried about the we have no seventh mass. Ah, uh, okay. We got that. Uh, what do you have for us, uh, Leo? Lyo? Lord Reen, you're home, eh? Hard things at the school. 
Fairly busy as we prepare for the new school year, but super fulfilling. I guess it's the Orban section. There are things here, Leo? Lyo? Same old, same old. Let's see how my wife is, right? Is she going to be sticking around for long? I'll handle all your Orban modification and weapon upgrade needs. Thanks a lot. Oh, before I forget. Have you heard about the Arcus 2 got an update? Yeah, the Rhineford group got in touch with us. Are the slots got a boost? Correct. You can strengthen them up for a third stage now. Allowing the insertion of even more powerful quartz. But you got a sample from the RF group. It's yours if you want to see how it works. After strengthening the slot with a sepith, you should be able to plug in the quartz in. Ooh, received here you are. An all element sepith for 150. Thank you for everything. No need for thanks. Just happy to see you again. Is your home and all? Make sure to get some R&R. &R. <laughs> of course. Okay, what do you have? Alright, let's uh, modify Orbment. Let's check what the Orbment does. First, real quick. Tier you are. Okay. This gives 2,400 and restores SP. It's okay. So, probably... I hear, but... Curia. Hmm. I'm probably gonna... Yeah. Let's modify Orbman. Let's slot... So nobody. Yeah, you can upgrade it. So with rain, I guess. Because Muse can't because it's a specific one. And it's only one line. Ah. Oh well. Hmm. I think, uh, hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Let's go for, you know what, let's go for rain. Sure, why not? Shrimp and weapon quartz. Oh, yes. Let's weapon up. Let's. Strengthen all these. We do need to strengthen them up. Oh, okay. I forgot. That's a lot of stuff. Jesus. Okay. I do have everything equipped pretty well. Okay. Let's, uh, let's equip it though. Towards Earth Pulse. Uh, tier you are. All right, that should be okay. Uh, I'm like, let me see. Ooh. Is another Kagamaru thing. And it does give evasion. So, Kurt. Ooh, already with 15? 31 agility, right? Or is that like normally plus that? Okay, so it has 15. That's 2%. He already has high. This is all the same. Don't have anything else. No, nothing else at the moment. All right. I'm like, please, let's get out. All right, what are we missing? The Valley's Echo Tavern. Where's Claire? Is she in here? Hmm. I guess I just talked to Gerald. Well, well, look who's back. 
Not to say you're doing well, Rain. <laughs> Likewise. You're in as good as mood as ever, Gerald. I can see why. You got quite a few customers for this time of the year. Yeah. Right after the war ended, hardly anyone was coming in. Looks like things are finally getting back to normal. Those tensions between the neighboring nations have calmed down a bit. We're getting even more guests than usual. Nothing beats times of peace. You got that right. Now then, since you're here at all, I want to teach you one of the recipes. Ooh, yes, please. I mean, one of your secret dishes? Are you sure about this, Gerald? Of course. You all use recipe books too, right? If you jot down one of my specials, you'll be able to prepare it wherever you want. Here, help yourself. A recipe for one of my special and the ingredients to whip it up. Tricolored onigiri recipe and its required ingredients. Ooh, yes. Ingredients as well? Really, this is much too kind. I'll get to see you as often as I'd like, so let me at least do this much. Well, you're keeping plenty busy out there, but take care of yourself. Make sure you're eating right. Of course, I'll take it to heart. I've gotten so used to spring everywhere else that the cold here has got me feeling like it's still winter. Think I might take that advice I gave to Kurt and soak in the hot spring. Anything? No, I should be searching everything, but everything does not seem like it has anything. Nope, nothing. It's been a while since I played one of these games like that. Okay. And we did visit everything. Right. What else? Oh, okay. How did I not see that? Did I not? I thought. Mm, I thought that was the mansion, but the Schwarzer ma Schwarzer mansion is over there. Did I not come from? No, I can't. Mm. Maybe that was locked. I was like, yeah, this, the, the, the inn, but I feel this is a good spot for me to end this episode here. And in the next one, we are going to go into the springs and see some relaxation, hopefully, because uh, we already know that things are about to go down, but leaving things off here. Hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you have. Please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. I do also have a voice acting channel, so if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description below and the end screen coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.